so good evening students standard 6 once again i welcome you today i am going to deal with chapter 4 of moral science which is about the do's and don'ts in this chapter i would mention you about certain regular practices which takes place in our day to day life which we practice like a ritual and which is so deeply rooted in us that it takes place automatically how these certain regular practices they plays a crucial role in our life how they affect us and how these regular practices helps to determine the success growth and development in our life what are the various regular practices which we should inculcate in our life what are the practices which we should avoid i will discuss all these topics in this chapter students as you will uh, if you will look around yourself you will see people frequently uh, using uh, or saying like i am habituated of uh, using smartphone or i am habituated of uh, junk food i am habituated of watching tv so ultimately what is this habit so habit in simple terms it means a tendency or a regular practice which is so deeply rooted in person that it takes place frequently and which is very hard to give up so habit is of two kinds your good habits and bad habits and we all are aware of that we all know that good habits are healthy for us and we should avoid bad habits and since childhood we are taught by our parents school in school uh, by our elders and others so a person who is if you will uh, see the person who was successful or developed one the those persons you will find one common factor between the successful persons of the society and that is all those persons have good habit in their life and they have avoided the bad habits so because why they have left the bad habit and why they have adopted why have they have gone for the good habits because good habit helps to build the good personality character it is very crucial it plays a crucial role in the growth and success as well as development of the person so an intelligent person is well aware of the implication of good habits and bad habits so that doesn't mean that a person who is having good habits in his life he has never done any mistake or he has never he don't he uh, has never done anything wrong in his life okay because it is a universal fact or truth that human beings have a tendency to do wrong so ultimately doing wrong is not a big matter but controlling it checking it uh of uh, make uh, improving yourself is a big factor it is a big matter okay now what are the two important things which help us to adopt good habits and which also help us to root out the bad habits from us those two factors are your determination and will power what is a will power will power is a strong desire or determination to leave something or to inculcate something okay means in simple terms a strong desire to do anything while your determination refers to a strong desire to achieve a certain goal so determination and will power plays a crucial role in the development and growth and success of a person as it helps to inculcate the good habit as well as to leave to root out the bad habits from us to clarify my point i'm giving you an example suppose a person who is alcoholic means who is habituated of drinking he knows that drinking is injurious to health it is not good for the health but then also he continues to drink because he lacks in will power and determination once he is determined nobody can stop him he can leave this habit and there are many examples in societies where you will see 
that person is habituated of something but with the strong willpower and determination they are able to succeed in leaving the bad habits see students accepting the mistakes saying sorry thank you are the some of the etiquettes which we should adopt in our life and it helps us it helps us to grow to become good person in life students you will see that someone when tells a lie or um, wants to cover uh, the first lie with his second lie and means whenever you speak when you practice a wrong tendency in your life it affects you because a person who is speaking lie to someone else to cover his first lie he will speak another and he will continue in this way so ultimately his mind will be uh, become his mind will be cluttered and he will be affected by this tendency his mind will not be stable or free but once he accept the mistake say sorry his mind will become cool calm and stable and this is a fact which every one of us are well aware of so the topic is made clear through a story here a student who is named as ramu he he has not done his homework and on his way to the school their thinking process is going on his mind because he was very scared of his class teacher who is very strict and in his mind a debate was going on that whether he should tell lie or he should accept his mistake and tell the truth to, to the teacher so uh, after a huge discussion and debate finally he heard his inner voice and accepted and um, he decided to tell the truth to the teacher so when he went to the class he told his class teacher that he was unable to do the homework because he had went with his uncle to see movie so although he was very scared and he knows very and he was very well aware that his class teacher was very strict and he might punish him but hearing the truth from ramu hearing the truth from ramu the class teacher decided that he will not punish him and he told ramu that since you have told truth to me you have accepted your mistake i will forgive you i will not punish you but remember from next time before moving to the movie or anywhere else remember of your homework remember of your responsibility because as a student he has the responsibility of doing homework see moving to a movie or for another for other source of entertainment is not a bad habit okay but before that you should check out what are your other responsibilities so ultimately with a warning the class teacher left uh, the class teacher forgave him ramu he thanked him and also he was feeling very relieved because now after accepting the mistake saying sorry to his teacher he was feeling much better he thanked his teacher although ramu made ramu had made a mistake but he accepted that mistake from the bottom of his heart and that is more important thing so the moral of the story is children that only brave and good people are able to accept their mistakes see because if a person is weak he would never be able to accept his mistakes because to accept your mistakes needs the courage now as we say uh, sorry or bad on when we do mistakes at the same time we should say thank you when we receive some favor from anyone for example here ramu he has done a mistake accepted the mistake said sorry to his class teacher his class teacher uh, he forgave him and for that he the, the ramu the student he told thank you with a smile to the class teacher so it is a etiquette which should be accepted and which should be inculcated in us so students the words like sorry thank you 
excuse me etc these all are the golden words because they not only help us to have a good image in front of the people but also help us to become a good person we all have certain good habits and bad habits but we should try to inculcate good habits and avoid the bad habits so what are those certain do's which you should uh, inculcate in yourself and what are those certain don'ts which you, which you should avoid i will list them so there are certain good habits which should be inculcated and those good habits are students like speaking the truth respecting your elders keeping yourself and environment clean uh, using polite words like sorry excuse me thank you so these are the uh, things which you should inculcate on in yourself because that will help you to become a good person and what are those don'ts which you should never practice don't speak ill of any uh, don't speak ill about others means don't speak uh, don't get involved in the gossip and speak about the bad things about uh, about others okay second one is your don't try to cover the mistakes by uh, speaking one lie after the another so that is not a good sign and that should never be practiced avoid to live in bad company those persons who are habituated of drinking smoking please avoid those persons because they can never be a good friend to you they will only spoil you and your life next one is you steal anything from your classmates back so ultimately this chapter is a very simple one and i think so everything is clear to you if there is any doubt please mention me in the comment i am giving you the question answers and uh, students please subscribe my channel so that you can get notifications timely thank you